I feel like the brute's been riding me. Uh, there's a frisky pair of that lot. Come on, Come on. Look at them. Still ready to go. How do they do it? <laughs> you work harder than they do. Mm, thank you, my lady. Uh, nothing can save you now. Steady. <laughs> How about lunch? I'd love to, but I have an appointment at the hairdresser. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. <laughs> I'm saving you for a rainy day. Do I hear my babies? Daddy's back. <laughs> Look what Daddy brought us from Ping Pong. Oh, darling baby, Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, Silk. Where's your hat, darling? Didn't you get a hat? Go <laughs> see Dad. Yes, let's see this man from Ping Pong. Paul, dear. Uh, uh, why don't you kids stay here and we'll play Chinese, um, Chinese cowboys? Oh, it's a wonderful game. He'll show you, won't you, Paul? Sure, they look like good material. Now, the rules of this game are... Rules are simple. That's the important point. You've got it, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Now put Carl on the line. Hello, Carl. Uh, Carl, good morning. Wait a minute, I have to kiss my wife.
How is your wife, by the way? Good, nice to hear. So, jetzt hör mal zu, Kerl. Tja, ich möchte, dass du diese Sache höchste Dringlichkeitsstufe gibst, ja? ja am liebsten wäre mir natürlich, dass du das selbst übernimmst. Kannst du das? Na, das ist ja ganz. Danke schön. Harry again. All right, put him on. What is it? No, I'm sorry, Harry. You just have to work it out. Yes, we are accepting bids in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm counting on you, Harry. Thank you, good night. Harry? what I needed. How did you know? I asked your secretary. <laughs> it's Indian, 12th century. Uh, marvelous. Thank you, Harry. <sighs> You're away longer than we expected. Eh? Mm, the talks kept dragging on. Besides, I was giving you a chance to sweep Alison off her feet. Oh, would you like us to be lovers? Mm. If it would make you both happy. Oh, that would make us all happy. And relieve your conscience. <clears throat> I don't miss New York on the telephone again. Again? It's Robin. She's left her husband and she's in a state. I see you more. In a flanque d'or. She says he's probably thrown out. I knew she couldn't go on making a fool of him. She may as well get it over with. I never hit it off. Waiting for her? One spitten, twice shy. Not again. Never again. What did Robin have to say? Yes, you have to go back to work. Serious? Will you help me, darling? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Are you upset? Coming home. She has nowhere else to go. Oh, Eric, why don't you want Robin to come back? Well, we have the pleasure of having Robin again. Well, this is her home. And she'd be company for me. You would be back squabbling over each other's toys in no time. Robin's going to be in and out of marriage for the rest of her life. Eric. 
please. Moisty, moisty morning. Cloudy was the weather. He began to compliment, and I began to grin. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do again? <laughs> there was an old woman. Susan, are you eating your carrot? Yes, mother. No, she isn't. Oh, tattle tail tip, your tongue will split. Bang, bang, you're okay. Oh, hello, Julie. Oh, she wrote me books from America. Oh, that was nice of her. All right, now go back and finish your supper. Hello, darling. I'm going to finish first. No, I'm going to finish first. Did you tell her? No, not, not yet. She just got it. I couldn't tell her, not right away, could I? Mm hmm. Okay. Could I speak to Tony Blake, please? Oh, you're Mrs. Blake. Never mind. Will you just tell him that Robin Crawford called? Thank you. It's fantastic. All the men I used to know have either gotten married or gone queer. What do they do with this country? It's the welfare state. When they nationalized sex, people began losing interest. Not you, though. Hmm. At least, not according to the letters you've been getting recently. Oh, it was locked. You once said I had sticky, prying fingers. That was unkind of me. Not bad. But then, of course, you always had taste. There's something I want to say. Come, come, we can't disappoint Alison, can we? Thank you very much, brother-in-law. Since you insist, perhaps I'll stay after all. But I'll have my own room back, if you don't mind. Sorry, Robin. I would rather you didn't stay here. You're not afraid of me. I don't want it to happen again. It won't. Robin. Robin, why are you here? Alison is my sister. We have a right to be with each other. Sooner or later, you want her to find out. Is that it? You think I might open her eyes to you? It was hopeless even before she was blind. I'm sure you won't find yourself without a roof over your head. Your cousin Adair would probably take you. <laughs> you twisted her arm. No, I like it here. Please, ask me to stay, brother-in-law. Yes, I'd tell her. In the hospital, when she realized she was blind, you remember what she did? And you think she'd do it again? Yes. She might be better off dead. You hate her, don't you? I love her.
His wife's related to the minister, they mean. No, oh, darling, now you're being cynical. This is a toast, all right. Oh, these things never work. No, not yet. Oh, here's a picture of the prime minister. He's back from Washington. Well, how does he look? A bit tired and about three inches shorter. <laughs> Thank you. Morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Did you have a good time last night? Mmm, lovely time. Whatever's happened to Paul, he's really learned to dance. Oh, look, the new collections. They're marvellous. Alison, you need some up-to-date clothes. What do you think she did before you came? I'm sure she dressed to please you. Right. Morning. Paul. Good morning. It was late and he was in no condition to be driving, so I put him to bed in the study. Yes. Well, pull up a seat. Oh, uh, Betty, set another place. Eric, do give Paul some coffee, won't you? Oh, yes, of course. Sugar? Cream? Uh, no, thank you. No, no. Toast? We'd like our guests to be comfortable. Oh, Eric, please. Coffee. Just coffee, thank you. Now, come, come. That's not a man's breakfast. You need more than that after a hard night. Toast is ready, darling. Thank you. Eric, please, eh? It's a bit early in the morning. So I'm sure you're not the one responsible. Cad. I think I have to go. Good morning. I'm sorry. He's just not himself. Uh, he's right. Uh, I should have. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh dear. Eric insists I'm a bad influence on you. Well, you'll just have to get used to the idea that you're my baby sister. Won't he? Eric. Yeah? I, I just wanted to check. Can you still make it for lunch? I believe so. Uh, your usual time. Right. But, uh, get shaved. Now then, shoes, hats, and a couple of spring outfits. And don't argue, because I have been through your wardrobe. Robbie, about Paul. Are you fond of him? He's fun. He's in love with you. Am I taking him away from you? <laughs> He's not mine, alas. All right here, thank you. Like that. <laughs> the Queen Mary is <laughs> very Queen Mary. <laughs> What's this? Uh, it's a bit big. Oh, wait. Hey, hey. You've been very patient, thank you. You get paid, don't you? It's gonna be super. That's better. Now, what about that? Seems a bit of something, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! Look at this! Marvellous! What is it? Leopard. A leopard scarf. Oh. Betty, do you have a pin, please? A leopardy scarf. Oh, that's fun. Sort of brown and yellow. Thank you. Now then, what about that? Oh, I think it looks marvellous. Marvellous. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a three-quarter length and it's covered in jewels on the front. Material sleazy. You're not very special. Oh, there's a better one. Oh, let's see. It's a 
want a Nina Ricci copy. It's a black sheath. Silk. It's cut very low. It's not a copy. It's not? No. Don't tell me the price. Let's try it on. It's very beautiful. Try it on. Me try it on? Yes, you. It's your birthday present in advance. Only three months. Oh, it's far too expensive. I don't really Can I need help it. You, madam? No. Yes. I'm your bossy sister and I insist. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a chair. Back in a Charming hat. Did you get it here? Yes. But I'm afraid it's the only one. Pity. It looks lovely. Just need shortening. We can do that at home. Oh, good. Shall we have tea? Mm, that's a marvelous idea. Why saw a belt with a good your new suit? I bought it for you. Oh, thank you. Now are we even? What about the doctors? We hear of these fantastic operations nowadays. Corneal transplants. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. I troubled in the head. What do you mean? My brain won't accept the images that my eyes make. You mean you're not blind? Blind is a bad. But not for physical reasons. You were hurt? The accident? There was an accident. I fell down the stairs and I hurt my head and after that I was blind. Pressure on a brain center from a small hemorrhage. Complicated by postnatal reaction. I mean, hysterical blindness after childbirth isn't impossible. It happens. Anything happens. You mean you could see if you wanted to? If I wanted to. Aren't people marvelous? It's one of my children I've never seen. The color of her hair, her eyes. Only words to me, other people's words. You want some more tea? No. But why? tell you what the psychiatrist said. I'm afraid to see. There's something I'm afraid to look at. That's the way the psychiatrist put it. You have no idea what it is? I've searched my brain a thousand times looking for a clue. I lie awake at night listening. I mean, maybe it's... Uh, the sound of a footstep that will turn the key. It's close, it's close. You know, sometimes I can almost touch it going by. How do you know? Because it hurts my eyes. Just a minute.
this earring? Well, the letter from the country. Your grandmother says the repairs aren't coming along. Oh, damn, I knew we shouldn't have left it to her. What does she say? Listen, dear Alison, I'm sure everything is going well for you and the children because the conjunction of Neptune and Mercury has always favored the family. Oh, well, she's <laughs> mad. But now, unfortunately, the plumbing repairs will not be finished in time for your visit, as I was compelled to send the workmen away. What? Mars is in the negative sign of Scorpio, so there's no use you paying for repairs that will only have to be done over again. <laughs> Another summer without a decent hot bath. Perhaps you ought to go down a bit earlier with Robin and the children and see if you can't straighten things out. I don't care that much about plumbing. <laughs> and I'll try to get off earlier, too, and come. Oh, excuse me. I just wanted to show you the dress. Oh, oh it's a beautiful dress. <laughs> Fits perfectly. Oh, I'm glad we got it. Will you do me up, please? That's all. Carry on. Eric. I'm sorry, darling. I broke something. now is the weather forecast, the general situation. Pressure will remain rather low over the southern and northern areas of the British Isles, and during tomorrow it is expected to remain mainly cloudy. For the rest of tonight, there will, however, be a tendency for the rain to clear. If this tendency continues, there may be a chance for a few hours of scattered sunshine tomorrow, especially in the late afternoon. <coughs> That's incredible. Outlook cloudy, rainy, is mainly but unchanged. sunshine. Predominantly cloudy weather with a little rain in places will persist for the rest of the day. But the All right, now, now, let me help you, huh? This is a job that needs a pair of large, clumsy hands. What do I have to do here? country with me and the children. We're going a little earlier this year. 
want him to be down there. I'm going to stay in town on the way toward Ellis. Well, how? By trying to seduce him. Well, if I did, it would only be to teach him a lesson. <laughs> He's too sure of himself. Oh, so you'd be doing me a favor, naturally. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I gave him back to you, you'd know he was mortal like the rest of us. Oh, when you gave him back to me, how very kind of you. <laughs> now, listen, Robin, about the summer. If it makes any difference to you, Paul may be spending the holidays with... Would you help me, dear? Did you hurt yourself, darling? Harry? It went on the sofa. Here it did. Robbie? Robbie! What are you wearing? I'm sorry, I forget. Dana? You really shouldn't have flounced out like that. Robbie. Would you close the door? I, I want to ask you something about my accident. When I was going to the psychiatrist, um, he asked me what happened before, just, just before. I couldn't tell him. There's a hole in my memory. I thought perhaps you could help me. Well, I, I was in my room. I didn't know anything was happening until I heard you falling downstairs. Did I? I remember. You were crying. I was asleep, and something woke me. What woke you? Suddenly, I knew the baby was going to be born. I started to wake Eric. He wasn't there. I had to find him. I got up, started down the hall, and then I heard you crying. And then? Blood. Next thing I remember, I was in the hospital. You were crying, weren't you? Yes. I... I didn't want to go to America and get married, and, and it was too late to back out. 
shouldn't have let you go. You were crying. There's something else. It's in there. Trying to remember gives me a headache. I think I'll take a pill and go to bed. I've changed my mind about going to the country. I'll come with you. <laughs> oh, we'll have a summer like we used to. Yeah. Get a good rest. Yes. up this morning is an extra special fish. Now look, now you mustn't, you mustn't pull this until you reach the beach, right? Mm. Don't pull it until you reach the beach. Don't forget to stop and look, darling. I'll take care of it. That's fun. What about Auntie Robbie? Thank you, Daddy. Why not? Goodbye, kids. Bye, Uncle. Goodbye, Daddy. Bye, ladies. And goodbye, Uncle Robin. No, Uncle. I didn't touch it. Yes, you did. You pulled it. Hey! You can't leave us with this beast! Punch a hole in it! I'll buy it a ticket! You beast! <laughs> We must be near the marshes. We just passed them. Coming to the old windmill soon. Still turning. Nothing's changed. There's a factory there now. Don't protect me, Robbie. Don't make up windmills. Right, 
close the door quietly and don't, don't make, make any, any noise. noise. <laughs> Never changes. Musty. You know, she still gives me the creeps. Oh, no. You're not afraid of astral vibrations, are you? Be quiet! You'll disturb Granny! Your darling Granny. Hello, Grandmother. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I didn't hear the car. Can you sit down, my dear? talk to you. I suppose you're upset about the repairs. <laughs> no, it's something serious. You're not pregnant, I hope. I think not, Grandmother. Venus is on your ascendant, you know. I'm not pregnant. I'm trying to find... Well, I wanted to talk to you about Eric. Eric's a decent husband. He stood by you. Don't be afraid, Grandmother. I'm not going to make any problems. I was only thinking of your welfare. Mm, you were thinking of your own comfort as usual. <laughs> Gemini, you can always tell a Gemini. Gemini, you can always tell a Gemini. <coughs> Grandmother. Hey. Come 
help me. If you can. You'll never let anyone help you, even as a child. <laughs> Did you try? You wanted your own way. I was too old to fight. You even you your own way. From me. Too old to fight. You even took Robin from me. It was Robin I'm sorry for. Robin. She grew up under your thumb. She waited on you. Anything of hers you wanted, you took. Like what, her teddy bear? You were jealous because we loved each other. Do you remember how you met Eric? Who introduced you to him? It was an adolescent crush. The first time he took you out dancing, she locked herself in her room and cried all night. She locked herself in you her room and cried all night. You didn't hear her. Did you? <laughs> she locked herself in her room and cried all night. You didn't hear her. Did you? Did you? I heard. <laughs> oh, stop snivelling. You're no worse than a lot of other people. Neither am I. No, I just got here. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, my holiday is about you. Yes, Ellison said you might be coming down. Uh, it, it wasn't definite. I could buzz down to Cornwall. But Nonsense. They're expecting you. You're almost a member of the family. Alors, plus de discussion. D'accord. Your table is ready. suggest that you must take off your hat. No, I think um, chops, underdone, and um, and peas and boiled potatoes. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going with Robin? Ah, uh, I'm hopeful. These Crawford girls have something, as you know. to one. Oh, yes, of course. But then you've been cultivating a taste for Spain lately, haven't you? That's over. And by the way, she was Peruvian. And please, don't talk about women as if they were wines. Sign of youth. Thanks for the tip. All right, I have the same. Very good, sir. Good half a notion. When would you be leaving? 
Uh, Saturday, huh? Uh, it would be quite a surprise for Hudson if I showed up with you. What do you say we drive down together? Sounds great. again. Oh, Granny. She's been married off to America and back again. Why a girl her age should be keeping gigolos? They're not gigolos. They just don't have any money. She typically Sagittarius. Don't you keep off her? Well, you stand up for each other. I have to say that. Hey, Roman, how about a bite to eat, eh? Solo, just you and us. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I promised I'd look for my sister. We're going to go for a walk. Well, bring your sister as well. How old is she? Alison, you must be joking. She's not quite like you. She's, uh, she's kind of square. <laughs> well, we could round off her corners for her. <laughs> hey, look, I'll take you to lunch tomorrow. I promise, OK? Right. Lobster. OK. Ciao. Well, <laughs> Any news from Allison? The roof leaks. Susan's learned how to swim. Did she say anything about Robin? Mm, she's amusing herself, but uh, nothing serious. Never is. Maybe you ought to get tough. How? Beat her. Use your hand. Use your belt. When she's had enough, make love to her. With you and Robin. Mm. Long time ago. No. Super, sir. Hold up, please. Robin. Seventeen. She was living with you and Alison, wasn't she? Only on holidays. She was at school. And you 
and helped her with her lessons. She probably idolized you. She never knew her father. That was part of it. I watched her grow up, the skirts lengthen, the hairdo, the little apples filling out. And finally, you picked the fruit. When a man is beginning to count his gray hairs, that sort of flattery is hard to resist. Besides, you were educating her, weren't you? Mm -hmm. She was an eager pupil, I must say. What really happened? Ask her. Got the message? Oh, it's in there. I just can't make out the words. Robbie, when I married Eric, were you in love with him? I hated him. He was taking you away from me. And you were all I had. <laughs> oh, it's funny how differently we see things. I mean, to me, you were the one who had everything, everything. That's what people always said. Talent, beauty. And you? Oh, they admitted I was pretty, but you were ravishing. You never knew how your ravishing sister was ravished, did you? On your wedding night. What were you trying to do? Get even? Oh, it didn't work anyway. I made a date with a man I picked up on the beach. He was middle-aged and boring. But he had a great sports car. I took him to our secret place. Got sand in his shoes, poor man. I remember I, I cried a little bit, not for what had happened, but because I wanted to come home and tell you all about it. Uh, and I, I couldn't. Back again. <laughs> right? Bravo! Well done, well done. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, Lady Godiva, can I help you down? Over the head. <laughs> She's a witch with horses. Come back here.
finally got the bath fixed. All I had to do was make mad passionate love to the plumber. <laughs> Young rips, pinching my black currants. Oh, Mr. Jackson, calm yourself. I'll be right it's down. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll have the law on you if it's the last thing I do. All right, all right, all right. What's You're not going to pay him? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, you silly old man. Oh, what do you mean chasing children over a few worthless black currants? We'll go to the police if you like. Yes, I could tell them a thing or two. Mm. All the country knows what goes on in your barn, you dirty old man. What's all the shouting about? It's Robin again. She said the children are stealing berries. Oh, is that all? Is that all? <laughs> what did she do before you'll find fault with her? She's irresponsible. She has her reasons. Such as? Things that happened to her. Things we did. What did we do? We took her for granted. She took us for granted, too. <laughs> well, but she was young. Do you think she's still our little Robin? Let her grow up, Ellison. We pushed her out once. I'm not going to do it again. Cut yourself free. Think of yourself once. She needs me. Eric, don't go. It's, it's cruel. It's the cruelest thing you can do. What do you want me to do? I can't help myself. Oh. Did you find this place? Alison and I used to, to come here to hide. Who was looking for you? No one. That's why we hid. You want some jam? Why won't you marry me? Because you don't love me. Do you know what it is to want? To really want someone? The want to beating against your brain until nothing else exists. Self-respect. Shame. Other people's lives. Is that how you want Eric? He told you, didn't he? He warned you. Naturally. He's your friend. A guest, if it matters. And you still came, didn't you? Love is humiliating, isn't it? I learned that a long time ago. From Eric. I worshipped him. Finally, he took pity on me. He gave me a crumb. He was kind.
Eric? It's me, Paul. Oh. Hey, you're smoking again. Oh, I just felt like it tonight. Can I swipe one? Hmm, you do. What do you think about us, Allison? You and Robbie? I'm in love with her, but I'm afraid it's hopeless. But you keep hoping. <laughs> it's absurd, isn't it? Cut yourself free, Paul. Love has to stop somewhere along the line. Otherwise, it's like like committing suicide. Who are, we, who are we talking about, Alison? Can we have rice or potatoes? Market. She waited for you till ten. Excuse me. Where is everyone? Children at the beach. Eric and Paul have gone skin diving. They'll be back soon. Skin diving? You disapprove? Yes. Men ought not to be allowed to do things together. Unless they do them with you. <laughs> Has a thought ever crossed your mind about them, I mean? What thought? Well, they're so friendly. Tell each other everything. You're marvellous. If you can't poison my marriage one way, you'll try another, won't you, Rob? It's only trying to open your eyes. Well, Eric told me you'd be helpful. She thinks all women are bitches, or objects of pity. Thank you. Cut your finger. Yes, I cut myself. We're finished, Robin. He likes you, Blind. you say? Well, that's why you're blind, isn't it? It's the only way you can hold him. Oh, if I could see... Oh! Children are supposed to visit their cousins tomorrow. We'll drive off together and spend our anniversary alone. I can't leave. It's Robin, isn't it? Oh, it's over. Then come with me. I'm not going to run away. Whatever happens. No, I didn't. 
didn't think you were in. I suppose I've always known. I love you, Larry. Sisters on that horse again.
because I'm not going to be second best. Phyllis? <laughs> Tell her. Tell her that you're leaving her. You're leaving everything. I'm leaving the children. For me. <laughs> Where have you been? I was walking. I didn't notice the time. There's some dinner in the oven. I don't think I'm not hungry. is for Alison, tall and fair. 
Oh, is it time? All right. Off we go. Now, don't forget to eat your carrots. Who cares Why do I have carrots? to eat my carrots? Because they're better for you than sweeties. I'm ready. Are we going now? Now, children, have you got everything? Yes. yes. Well, you must say goodbye to Mommy. My good girls. Bye. Bye. Now, come along. Come along. Off we go. Madame Palladier, you will be kind to them. Of course, madame. Children. Why must you always forget things? Because it's a bit bad. Come along. Alison, where are you off to? I have a headache. I, I want to lie down for a while. Lunch is almost ready. If you'll excuse me, please. Nonsense. It's already prepared. I read us another chapter of the Red Sands of Mars. something useful. Chapter four. Beyond the twin moons of Mars, the iron pulse drive sent the craft into hyperspace. The Martian at the controls set the coordinates for the green world, the Earth. The visai plates reveal the vast sphere of the earth. Thinking of his own distant red sands, the Martian wondered whether there was life on the alien world below. All right, Grandmother, that's enough. I'm going to my room. How's lunch, eh? Mr. 
time for a drink, isn't it? You can, if you like. You shall have to wait for Robin. Anyone join me? No, thank you. Happy anniversary. Those are my roses. Good. Anniversary? Why didn't anyone tell me? Because he's forgotten it. Haven't you, Eric? And shall we go in to lunch? I... I have a little announcement to make first. You don't mind if I tell them, do you? Go ahead. I'm asking Paul to be my next husband. He says yes. I hope you'll be very happy. Happy anniversary, everyone. Aren't you going to kiss the bride? 